Okay, this is a demonstration of the Microsoft PST Capture Tool. Uh, this will go and scan your network, uh, workstations, file servers, NAS devices for PST files. Uh, we'll walk through the installation of the console, then we'll install an agent on a workstation. We will scan for PSTs, we will import them in to the target, which in this case is an on-premise Exchange 2013 server, and we will review a mailbox to make sure that the contents have imported in. So the first step in this process is to install the console. And we'll take the default settings. I've already pre-created a service account. And it has to have rights on mailboxes in the organization. Uh, it has to be an uh, organization management member and it needs to be an administrator on the machine that you're installing it on. And we will open up Server Manager and look at Services. And there is your PST Capture Service. So now we'll take a workstation and we will install the agent. We're going to tell it the name of our server. So as you can see, I ran into an error with not having .NET Framework, so I've gone and downloaded that. We'll let it install, and we'll resume when it's finished. Okay, so we're back. We've got .NET installed, and I'm back at the point of installing the Capture Agent again. And if we take a look at the services, we will see a similar service on the workstation. There we go. I also want to show you that we do have a mailbox that has a uh, single message in it, our PST tester account. We're going to scan for PST file and ingest the messages from that PST into this mailbox and we'll come back and verify. Alright, so let's clear some space here and we will bring up PST Capture Console. Okay, so we'll take a look at the uh, initial settings for the PST Capture Console. Uh, we're not doing an online connection here, so we'll ignore that. PSTs will import into the mailbox, and they'll create a subfolder with the name of the PST file as the folder name. Uh, we're not importing into archive mailboxes. If we do have calendar, contacts, tasks, uh, we do want to go ahead and import those in. 
Uh, this defines our staging area for the PST import process. Uh, we'll allow for 30 failed messages before we'll stop the import. And these are all default settings here. So we'll take the change that I made and commit that. Okay, so now we have our agents on our console deployed. So we will launch the tool and we will do a scan for PSTs. You can bring PSTs into the environment in one of two ways. You can do a search based on the agents that you've deployed, or you can specify a source manually by using an import list. You can do either a cloud or an on-premise. First thing we'll do is the search using an agent. So we'll pull up the domain and expand the computers. There's our virtual machine running Windows 7. We'll take the defaults. And we will go ahead and start the search on this agent. Okay, our search completed. We found 775 meg worth of PSTs down here. I'm going to highlight this one, which has 50 meg of deleted items. And we will add them to an on prem import. We've got the location of the PST on the remote. Uh, a computer. We've got the owner and we can manually specify the mailbox and we're going to put it into PST tester. We'll go ahead and do the import. And we will look in our PST staging directory and we'll see this PST coming across from the client. And here we are importing messages. And while those messages are importing, I'll go ahead and pull up our OWA we can see that the name of the PST is deleted items 50 meg. It made a folder with that name and underneath it is the deleted items folder and it is bringing in messages. As you can see the count increasing. And our import was successfully completed. So that takes care of doing it from a PST search. Uh, I will go ahead and clear these out. And we will do one as a manual import. Uh, we will do an on-prem and select add from folder. I have a PST out on the desktop that I'll pull in. And I will set the mailbox to PS tester as well. And we can see the <clears throat> transfer of the file coming through the staging folder. Transfer is complete. Now we should begin the import of messages. And there we go. 1,058 messages processing. And if we go to our PS tester, there's Matt Stover, <coughs> 150, based on the name of that PST. And here are messages coming across. Okay, that finished up. And as we can see, it has a status of complete with errors. 
we can view the details of the alert. It looks like there's one message that failed to import and it gives you the date and time there. All right, so that covers the uh, two most common scenarios you're going to use for importing. Um, you can, I pulled a PST off of the desktop, which you can connect to, and uh, that should uh, cover the basics for you there. If you need further information, there's a couple of good write ups. Uh, one is on msexchange.org that will walk you through uh, some of the more detailed uh, options that you can set with any application. So thanks a lot. Appreciate your time.